All right, hello and welcome to anyone who is watching. Uh, thanks to Garrett for the handoff, and I'm glad to be jumping in on this stream. Uh, I'm going to take a couple minutes here just to get set up, uh, make sure that people can see me so I'm not talking to no one, and then I will get started streaming some Hearthstone with a very unique deck, uh, which we'll talk about for a bit before I get started in earnest. So uh, if you'll bear with me while I just make sure the stream is live, uh, we'll get going. Still says no live channels, so if you're watching this, you are seeing something that I am not. Uh, and hopefully that does not last too long. Let's see here. Basically, I'm just like starting and restarting Twitch on my phone. Uh, to try to make sure that I get Duck Spring. Oh, there I am. God, I look sexy. All right, we are good to go. I'm also going to start the stream and put it in chat only mode so that I can uh, talk with y'all on my phone because I don't have one of those fancy, smancy um, multi screen setups. All right, I think we are good to go. Um, so first off, hi everyone, uh, I'm Dennis Furia from The Level, um, and I am streaming today to raise money for Transactive. It is a help center in Portland, Oregon, that raises money for transgender, excuse me, not raises money, but that provides services uh, for transgender youth. And as far as I know, um, this is the only service specifically for transgender youth uh, that exists right now. So hopefully we'll see more of them in the future, but this is this is really cool to, uh, to be kind of stepping out as gamers and, and supporting them. Um, so real quick, I pulled up the deck list. I know you can see it on the left side here, but so I can see it. Again, don't have a very fancy setup. I'll talk you through the basic uh, theory of this deck because this is a transforming uh, druid deck. And I know that's a horrible pun, um, but you know it, it felt appropriate and it led to some fun decisions. The main uh, fun pieces of this deck are the Recombobulator, uh, which is a 3-2 two for 2 that transforms a friendly minion into a random minion with the same cost. And we'll get into that why that's good in a second, but it transforms. Um, the next piece is the Gnomish Experimenter, which is also a 3-2, but it's for 3, and it draws a card. However, if that, if that card is a minion and not a spell, it turns it into a chicken, um, which is really good for spell-heavy decks. Not so good for my deck because it's only about a third spells, but it transforms, so I had to put it in. Um, the final uh, and most important transformation-themed card is Tinkmaster Overspark, and this is a famously bad legendary card, um, so I don't know why it's a legendary. Uh, it does something crazy. That's probably why. Um, but what it does is it transforms another random minion, and it can be my minion or the enemy's minion, uh, into a 5-5 five, five Devil Sword or a 1-1 one, one Squirrel. So those are the three cards that directly reference transforming and they're all neutral minions so I, I could have put them into any deck i chose the druid because it actually has a lot of transformation in it as well uh, there are cards like druid of the flame uh, that allows you to transform into a 5-2 minion or a 2-5 minion uh, there's druid of the saver that transforms sh saber woo, uh, that transforms uh, to gain charge or 1-1 one, one in stealth uh, and then there's also the Druid of the Fang, which transforms, if you have a beast on the board, into a 7-7. Seven, seven. By the way, all the things that the Druid of the Flame and the Druid of the Saber transform into are beasts. So that kind of led me to Druid, and then because of all that beast synergy, it led me into a beast-centric deck, apart from the transformation pieces. Um, so I've got a, bu a bunch of other beast type of things in here. I've got Tomb Spiders, which are beasts that allow you to discover another beast. Uh, there's Druid of the Tra Claw, which essentially transforms to either have Charge or plus two Health and Taunt. Both those forms are beast. Um, and hey, this is kind of cool. The Gnomish Experimenter transforms minions into a chicken, which is a beast. <laughs> um, and then Tinkmaster Overspark, when he transforms um, the into the other minion into a devil sore or a squirrel, those are both beasts. And all of those minions proc what uh, the the final kind of big card that I have in here that's beast themed, um, which is the Knight of the Wild. Um, and the Knight of the Wild gets cheaper every time I summon a beast. And like I said, that can be playing it from my hand 
Or if, if I get it through um, Tinkmaster Overspark, um, theoretically through the Recombobulator, if that changed another card into a beast uh, just randomly, um, that would proc this as well, allowing me to get a 6-6 onto the board for theoretically very cheap. Um, the rest of everything I've got in here are kind of removal spells, uh, utility spells, and uh, Dr. Boom, because you have to have Dr. Boom in every deck uh, because he is broken. And that is the theory of the deck. Uh, let's see here. Looks like people can see me. We have relaunch, destruction buffers for a few seconds, twice a minute. Send. <laughs> All right. Where's the Savage Combatant at? I got rid of him. Um, and at first I got rid of him for, or no, I, I switched him out for Nourish. And I did that because, sorry, I'm, I'm addressing a question from the chat. I did that because I was running out of cards and Savage Combatant wasn't really doing that much for me. I never felt like I was getting huge value. I was never like, yes, I drew Savage Combatant. Um, at the same time, I swapped out my two Wild Walkers, um, which is a 4-4 that gives a beast plus three health for Tomb Spiders. And again, that's to address the card draw. Um, and I just, I, I wasn't, I was never feeling excited about the wild walkers either. Um, at the same time that gave me two more beasts in my deck, uh, which meant that I felt good getting rid of the savage combatant for nourish. And that's where the deck stands. Enough talking. Let's get to playing. Uh, I'm a little nervous going into this, so I better uh, take a drink to calm my nerves. That's good radio right there. I'm a little nervous going into this because I am on a win streak with this deck going in. So started out at rank 15 when I created this deck and started playing, kind of win one, lost one, back and forth, went on a cold streak, dropped down a couple ranks, and then just hit a hot streak and I'm coming up now. So I think I'm 16 with three stars and a win streak, um, which is kind of barreling into rank 15 with, with a full head of steam. Um, so you guys might watch me crash and burn for a bit here until I get down to the lower ranks. Um, this is really fun for a couple reasons. The first reason... Uh, that this deck is fun is people don't know what the hell to do with it, right? They see Druid, they think mid-range, maybe Egg Druid, and then there's Beasts that start coming out, but then there's a Recombobulator, and it's just it's just funny to watch people having no idea what's going on. Um, the other reason is if you're down around rank 17, you see other really crazy fun decks. Um, and, 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 you know, so you, you just see weird stuff from your deck and from other people's decks. Um, also, I, I don't know, say in the stream, um, if you are familiar with uh with hearthstone very much so let's see here i i, I can give some basic information there as well uh, i am drinking by the way a uh Perrin brewing company black uh, it's a porter it's from michigan and it's delicious um okay what cards to keep here with 20 seconds to go tink master over spark because fun and the other two go back um no reason to keep him other than that he's tink master over spark if i drew into um Living Roots, that could be a theoretically good opening because then I can play Tink Master Overspark and, uh, you know, get one of those Living Roots possibly transformed up with no drawback. Um, I would think I'm going up against a Face Hunter here, but that's got to be the worst draw ever for a Face Hunter if he has no one plays. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my Power of the Wild, which usually gives your minions plus one, plus one, or second option, summons a 3-2 Panther. I'm going to summon the Panther to give me some board presence and to proc the Knight of the Wild. I'm glad I drew that early on. It's the one big... Oh, I drew both of them. Holy crap. So I'm going to proc both of them by summoning the Panther. And you'll watch them drop down uh, from seven to six. Um, there are no six drops in my deck. I, I kind of count on getting a Knight of the Wild and proccing it once to have a six drop. Um, with both of them this early in the game, I have no other beasts in my hand, but there are a lot in my deck. So that, that could be some really cheap 6-6s six being dropped in a bit here. Um, that said, I'm, I'm jumping next turn to Tinkmaster Overspark. Hmm. And this is where, hey, just for fun, I could transform this guy. Um, the unfortunate thing... Well, okay, so when it, when it transforms, it's going to proc the Knights of the Wild. That's good. If he's set an explosive trap just there, I lose the beast before I can proc it, but I don't want, I, I can't attack with the beast after I transform it. Um, so I think what I do is I attack and then I proc, hope it's a bear trap. And it is. All right, things are about to get crazy. You are about to, uh, I, we are about to blow this guy's mind. 
So let's see what he thinks when he sees Tinkmaster Overspark. Yeah, all right. I got the bit. Well, I, that is just as good as maybe getting a uh, uh, turning this into a one one squirrel. Um, thanks. I'm very happy about that. And yeah, I'm hoping this is a rank one stream. Man, there's a lot of chat. I can't keep up. So let's see what we get here. Four three Houndmaster. So this is a, a mid range, and he's got to use that while he'll trade with him. Yeah. All right. So he traded away my Tinkmaster Overspark. Uh, my Devil Sword dies to this, and then he's got a Houndmaster left. I don't have enough hit in my hand to, uh, or hit for my hero power to take him out. Um, so, uh, I think I just play the Tomb Spider and trade. Not the super duper best of trades, but... Uh, going into turn five, I've got my Knights of the Wild. Oh, I could have played my Knights of the Wild? No, that proc'd him. Okay. I couldn't have played them. At least I don't think. Uh, Malorn is too sm slow. Captured your monger isn't going to be great. I've got a bunch of turn five plays. A silence might be useful for a mid-range hunter. I'm going to go with the silence. And then I'm going to trade. And I'm going to hope this guy thinks for a while before taking his turn so I can catch up. Oh, I didn't take Malorn. I'm sorry. I saw that a little bit too late. Yeah, the meta in Hearthstone. Actually, it shouldn't be hard to keep up with right now. Um, the uh, the meta is so stagnant. Like, it's Secret Paladin. Of course, that's going to die. Um, it is mid-range hunt uh, mid -range Druid. Excuse me. I'm looking at a mid-range hunter. And it's nothing else super cool. Ah, if a beast had lived. If only, if only. Let's see here. I think what I'd like to do. See, if I had a beast on board, I could have this transform into a 7 7. That'd be wonderful. This guy just dies to the weapon, and the Houndmaster keeps on rampaging. The 6 6 might just be a good option. It's a mana inefficient, but it forces him to use another card at least to trade, or both his weapon and his minion, and I like that. And I've got the other one in my hand, so now I want to start throwing out these uh, costly minions um, and, and hoping that they, they stick. Yeah, standard, I'm definitely... Oh, come on. Still should trade with something? Face? Hit me with your face, brah. Hit me... I don't know. Don't, don't arcane shot or whatever that is. Oh, boy. Pray... Miss, miss, come face, come on, come on, ah, god damn it, all right, all right, this game is going to go bad for me, uh, let's see here, all right, we could have some fun, oh, this is, this is interesting, I'm going to play this just to illustrate a, an interesting um, capability of this deck, because there's another synergy that I didn't talk about, um, which is, I can play Night of the Wild, which I just played for four mana, right? Because it had been proc'd. But when it hits the board, it's a seven mana, um, it's a seven mana, uh, whatever it is, you know, minion. So I can play Recombobulator on it, and suddenly this thing should jump up in power a bit from a 6-6 from a six, six to a 6-8. Now, that uh, that's the first time that I've actually had that synergy happen uh, in a game, but I've been mindful of it. Really, it would have been nice to get, like, Baron Geddon and... Uh, there's there's the uh, Savannah High Man that I was waiting to silence. Oh, you don't want to kill him? Yeah, he's going face. All right, this is going to be interesting. Let's see how I take care of this. Um, silence the High Man and kill it. Then I live with a 6-1 on board. But he's got the Flame Juggler, and I just have to hope that he misses. Otherwise, he can just kill it with the Hound. Um, that leaves me five mana left, but I'll have a beast on board, and so we're going to poop out another 7-7. Seven, seven. So this is this is kind of the theory behind the deck, is these these big minions just keep on raining down. Bam, 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 6-6, six, 6-8, six, six, seven, seven. Um, Now, again, this is not hyper-competitive. Miss, miss, come face, come face. Or go to that 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> this is going to go really badly for me. He just pulled Dr. Boom. Um, so, whatever. Alright, so I'm down to 4 health. Staring down 21 health. 
Let's uh, let's throw out the three cards. Did I mention the three three that destroys all um, your opponent's minions? I've got that in my deck as well. No, I don't. This is bad. This is bad. I'm just playing this for fun now. Let's drop two damage on the knife juggler. I probably should have killed him a long time ago. Uh, let's trade with this guy because that's totally going to help me. And let's end the turn. Well played. So that's the first game. My win streak kind of jumps down, but this this is good because it illustrated some of the uh, the ideas that are in this deck that theoretically should work. Oh, don't be a dick. Okay. I was gonna say if uh, if he was. Oh, come on. Okay. Maybe he had a maybe he had a quest for uh, killing minions. There's a destroy them all quest. I'll I'll let him have that. Oh yeah, I, I I do not have access to the Twitch channel, so if someone knows how to change the name of the game to Hearthstone, that would be appreciated. Um, I posted about it in the Slack, so I'm gonna check. <laughs> then I win. Yes, I would like that. Um, I didn't I didn't see in the chat uh, who is familiar with Hearthstone, and who is not familiar. Is it worth me explaining anything, or do you guys just want to kind of watch? Watch and learn. Let me know while I check Slack to see if anyone. <laughs> All right, cool. They are talking in the Slack about how to update the stream. So help is on the way. Um, Dernisus Aspirant. I'll keep Savage Roar. I'll throw back. Uh, Swipe is swipe is a good spell. Um, uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep it. I like. I've got two strong minions in my hand. I've got three strong minions in my hand. This is great. Okay. No, this is this is really good. Um, if only I had a recombobulator, because these are actually great recombobulator targets as well. Darnassus Aspirant gives me an extra mana crystal, and the, the drawback to it is that when it dies, I lose that mana crystal. Murloc Paladin, all right. But the great thing is if I can play it and then recombobulate it, um, hmm. how aggressive do I want to be? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. No, no, that's too aggressive. So if I recombobulate it, I, I don't get that death rattle. I could play the saber and kill it. I like playing the Druid of the Flame, because it's going to take a lot to clear with two mana, right? And then that gets it out, I can start start hitting it, start knocking it, and um, hopefully clear out some of this smaller crap. Now, this deck is a Murloc Paladin. He has a specific set of Murlocs in his deck that get more powerful... Hmm. Uh, when they're all summoned together. And he's got basically a, a very expensive spell in his deck that summons all the Murlocs that have died this game at once. Uh, and so he's going to try to stall me and stall me until he can get that spell uh, and then plays that everyone pops up and he kills me in one turn. Um, so, you know, clearing the little guy, whatever. I'm, I'm just hoping to get a lot of value out of uh, spending my Innervate on this Druid of this Flame uh, and having that allow me to bump up everyone else. So for example, right here, um, this allows me to play with the coin uh, one of these minions and my power of the wild. Um, next turn, if I have five mana, I'm not going to do anything special. Next turn, if I have four mana, I'm fine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play Druid of the Saber in charge mode. Now the reason I do that is because I need to start being aggressive here. So I'm going to clear this guy out because I can make a good trade. And then I'm going to smack his face. Um, and my goal right now is to get to the point... Oh, I hope he doesn't have Consecrate. I should have thought of that. Um, get to the point where I'm, I'm whittling him down faster than he can come back against me um, so that uh, he can't get to that big turn. What's up, Murloc? Dude... That's a swipe if I ever saw one. Bump, 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 bump. Get a little heartbeat going, one damage to face. 
Now we're cranking. And next turn, I've got Swipe plus Living Root. So I'm, I'm curving out really nicely here. I'm, I'm getting a good mana ramp. Um, although this is the problem that I talked about uh, when I started the stream of running out of cards, right? So I'm... Yeah, you know, I'm basically holding even with everything right here. I've played stuff on on curve, but um, as I get to these later turns, I'm going to start playing two at a time, two at a time, uh, and just run out really quick. What the hell? Mm. How much removal do I spend on this Murloc? Do I risk him spiraling out of control for a seven-seven? And the answer is hell yeah, I do. Face, face, face! Smork approves, or something like that. It's just one minion, I've got three on board, now one's a 7-7. Seven, seven. He can't kill the 7-7 seven, seven with that Murloc alone unless he has two Murlocs in his hand, allowing me to hopefully just keep on rolling over these guys. This is interesting, okay. This is, this is weird, because we've seen a Murloc Knight and we've seen Sir Finley Murgleton. Both of those are not Murlocs that play into that combo that I mentioned that just kind of kills me in one turn. If he has another Murloc, you better play it, because otherwise he's not going to be able to kill my 7-7. Seven, seven. Anyway, so now when he plays that card at the end of the game, there's a high chance that Sir Finley or uh, the Murloc Knight gets called, in which case he's kind of screwed himself. That, that's, you know what, I can't, I can't be mad about that. I'm not mad about that at all. Um, so I lost my 7-7, seven, seven, but my gosh, he spent both of his Blessing of Kings' is... Hey! Scared him. Scared him, had all the answers. And we're back charging towards rank 15, I can't click well played. I'm not being a jerk, I really thought it was a good game. I'm sorry, I was just big, uh, busy talking on stream. Alright, let's see here. I gotta get better at, uh, at rooting here. Smork. <laughs> you tried, man. You tried. Uh, Smork approves nonetheless. But anyway, yeah, I, I mean, that's... I've got that, you know, I had that 7-7 seven, seven taken out, but that, that Murloc that he'd spent so much on making big to kill that guy, I could just take out with my swipe and continue rolling face with everything else. Interesting. That's, that's not your traditional Murloc deck. Hey! There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Lord Huff and Puff knows the smork uh, emote. Keep trying, Beard Yon. Keep trying. There's my friend Recombobulator. Oh, um, Keeper of the Grove is another really good target for Recombobulator. Because it is a really strong battle cry. And a really weak body. Eh, on a relative scale. So that's, uh, that's good. These guys are going back for sure. Uh, I've only got one Keeper of the Grove in my deck. In absence of anything else, though, I, I think I need to fish for good openings. What's up, Jala? I'm glad. I'm, I'm trying to do the stream a little bit more uh, informational. Ooh, this will be interesting. I'm going to recombobulate, if he survives. I'm going to recombobulate a recombobulator. Um, or should I? Alright, past turn one. Play Drew to the Flame, turn two, and have him um, Shadow Word Paint, I'm sure. But then turn three, recombobulate, um, because this is a good target for recombobulation, because I can probably trade with whatever he throws out there. And uh, he's he's bored. I'm going to stick with recombobulators. Come on. There we go. And just recombobulate my little heart out. Anyway, this is the point where whoever is over on the other side is like, the what? The what the hell? Not quite what was <laughs> See? <laughs> he is, this is he's scratching his head and going, this guy must be high. Uh, just a little drunk. Alright, so that's good, you see. I've, well, I won't survive the trade. But I can trade. Um, time for a change indeed. You guys, uh, people who know Hearthstone are probably getting to hear a bunch of emotes that they haven't before. It's just recombobulators all the way down. Hey, thanks for the donation. I heard the spring. I can't see the thing saying who donated what, but I, uh, I appreciate you. All right, so this is going to be an interesting choice. I could play my Druid of the Flame in 5-2 mode to kill this guy. Um, I can pass him now. 
I could I, I could trade right now using Drew to save her, but that's mana inefficient. Um, I could play the five two, but he'll trade with the three two and the five two. But I start proccing my my Knights of the Wild. So what's going to help me stall out the best here? Because it really I just need to get to these turns because these turns are going to be barbaric. Uh, let's go. Let's go. I'm going to say. He doesn't have, what is it, Holy Nova until turn 5. And Holy Nova is a spell that heals every one of his characters for 2, damages every one of mine for 2. Alright. That's how it's going to be, huh? Well, this is, this is okay. Because now, look, I get to play 2 and 2. Proc my Knights of the Wild. Kill this fool. Kill that fool. And we're back to square one. So he's he's throwing down punches. I'm ducking and diving, dodging and weaving. Or uh, rather, I'm throwing my minions in the way of them. Uh, but next turn, I get my Knight of the Wild. He's healing himself. Um, thankfully, Northshire Cleric doesn't proc on champion heals. This is where things start getting good. Night of the Wild for five. Probably next time, uh, Night of the Wild for five again, and I'll just waste a mana crystal. Um, but we'll see what happens. Getting some wine. Good, I'm getting some beer. <laughs> you attack your opponent. Yeah, Beer Dawn, if you can just do the uh, the story for me, that, that'd be great. He doesn't have anything to deal with it. That's good. Um, I'm trying to think of why he would choose... To skip like that, and I, I don't know. All right, so what I'm, oh, do I use my innervate to get Doctor Boom out now? I've got a bit of an advantage. Got a six six he can't deal with. Um, Doctor Boom is just so powerful; it's worth wasting the mana on. And then, turn seven, I can play Knight of the Wild and Druid of the Saber at the same time, or. Knight of the Wild, or Drew of the Saber first, Knight of the Wild for four, and then a one mana something. So, let's see here. Yeah, you always get Boom out now. Scooby Maroon, I trust you. And uh, that is that is very sage advice. If you have Boom, play Boom. Uh, so for Jala, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use Jala as my proxy for any player who uh, is not familiar with Hearthstone. Dr. Boom is the most broken, well, yeah, probably, uh, I would say the most broken card in Hearthstone right now. Just an insanely powerful guy. Killer, 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 killer. Boom! There it is. Um, that's why Dr. Boom is <laughs> insanely overpowered. Um, it's a 7-7 seven, seven for 7 that also summons two 1-1 one, one Boom bots that deal 1-4 to four damage to a minion when they die. And it's explicitly an enemy minion. So this guy's hurting right now. I might, I might be jumping to rank 16. Okay, what's going on here? What is going on here? Oh, this is interesting. I kind of want to play my Druid of the Claw to kill him and just keep on rocking in the free world with everything else. I could try hitting him with the Boombot and seeing if that kills him, because that's got basically a coin flip chance to do it. No, a coin flip on a coin flip, so a 25% chance to do it, because it's got to pick him, and then it's got to deal in the upper range of the damage. Or I could just trade with my Knight of the Wild, which would be good, but I, uh, I think I like <laughs> uh, this option. Or, you know what, screw it, I can go face with everything right now. Don't want to overcommit, don't want to overcommit. Be cool, Dennis. No need to overcommit. And this on my terms here. So I keep the Druid of the Saber in my hand. That's two kind of surprise damage. So the Druid of the Saber either has charge, which means it can attack the turn it's played, or it gets plus one, plus one, and stealth, meaning it's a 3-2 with stealth, uh, which means it has to wait a turn, but it can't be targeted by the enemy during that turn that it's waiting, and then you know, it could potentially trade with something for three damage instead of two damage. We'll see. Hey! Dude, I can't win a game. Everyone's surrendering to me. This deck is just so overpowered. I tell you what. I mean, people see it and they, they just cry. So, people, we are at rank 15 with a deck with Tinkmaster Overspark in it. That is pretty amazing. 
Uh, that's that feels good. So uh, that is two wins and one loss. Got that bad luck out of the way early, and and we'll see where things go. Let's jump right back in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 drawing extremely well. This this deck has won um it's beaten Secret Paladins, it's beaten uh Handlock and Reno Lock, it's beaten Midrange Druid. So I've I've won against the top tier decks with this deck. Then again I've also lost to them a lot, but what can you do? Alright, this is a two three four. Um turn one I'd love to have something to play. The only really turn one plays in my deck, though, are Living Roots and if I draw an Innervate, um, which I'm sure at some point I'll explain what those are. Playing against a Druid, so unless he has Innervate or Living Roots, I can be reasonably confident that he'll... Well, no, he's got the coin. You know what? Um, just because I like Gnomish Experimenter and Druid of the Saber is a good card to have for turn two. And swipe is awesome. I'm going to keep it all. Keep it all. Jala, thank you for your donation. Um, I said just a second earlier that I, I don't have visibility to who donates what, but I appreciate it. Um, no amount is too small. And uh, and thanks. Thanks. That makes me very happy. Okay. Um, what to do here? I don't, I don't have the right cards right now to flood the board, right? So hanging on to Power of the Wild in hopes that I will give more than one minion plus one plus one is a pipe dream. At the same time, uh, a 3-2 Panther that is targetable is not that great. Maybe kind of likely to get taken out directly on turn two or uh, easily, you know, it'll die to whatever he plays on turn two. 3-2 um, with Stealth is more likely to live a turn and actually trade, and I can buff it with um, plus one, plus one next turn if I want. This is this is where the other person quits out of boredom, because while you guys are enjoying my riveting, I'm sure, commentary, um, he just sees me sitting here silently. Um, I'm going to go the 3-2 with Stealth. I wish I had a Knight of the Wild in my hand that that could proc, but that's all right. Next turn, I have the option to either play the Gnomish Experimenter, which draws a card. If it's a spell, I get to keep it. If it's a minion, it transforms it into a chicken. Oops. Um, so I can play that next turn, or I can um, upgrade Power of the Wild. Well, that's interesting. Isn't that cute? I guess I'm playing another mid-range deck. 1-1 one, one is fine. Um, I can trade with that, which is... You can't usually say with a two health minion. We'll see. At that point, he's just playing that because he needs a turn three play. Uh, the Jeweled Scarab pulls uh, or allows you to discover a minion. Hey, what's up, girl? This is way better than either of the other options. Um, so he's, he's just playing that because he needs something to play on turn three. Um, and the Jeweled Scarab allows you to discover a three cost card. Now, it could be a spell, it could be a minion, I don't know what he took, but um, generally when you see that played, it's because the class doesn't have a lot of strong turn threes. Um, although Hunter usually has strong turn threes, so go figure. Um, what the hell? Oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. All right. So that was, that was not a card I was expecting to see. Um, he trades now with my Druid of the Flame. However, what I can do... Play the Druid of the Saber. Then play Power of the Wild. And Power of the Wild I, I, I take as a win if I can get two minions buffed with it. And especially if I can get two minions buff with, buffed with it and it trades uh, when that wouldn't before. So I would have lost my Druid of the Flame. Now I kept it and I've got a 4-3 with Stealth on board, which is pretty good. Um, to the question I saw in the chat about whether or not you need to pay money to be good at Hearthstone, the answer is absolutely not. Um, so I play it. Now, granted, I play it every day. You get a daily quest that gives you gold. I play that every day. That's an interesting play because that dies to my 3-1. So he's he's probably hunting for cards. 
Um, and with that gold, you can over time build up your collection. Um, I was, well, sorry, I'm going to interrupt myself here. Do I want to use swipe to kill it? Because then I can go face with everything. I'm just kind of rolling over my advantage. Um, I could also play Living Roots in the same turn, but I don't know what I gain from having two one ones out. Um, cards you can play anywhere. Sorry, I'm I'm doing a horrible job of of answering questions in the chat. I am hanging on in hopes. Now watch this enables his multi-shot. Multi-shot is a spell that deals three damage to two random minions and would wipe out my board, but also I think it costs four. So, you know, that's fine. He wastes his turn. Oh, and I don't have boom next turn. I, I was about to say, I've got boom next turn, but I've got boom on turn seven. So hang it in there until boom. But anyway, so you don't need to invest money. You can use that gold to buy cards that you need. Um, I might be a little bit out of touch because I, I joined pretty shortly after the game launched full time and so I've you know I've kind of grown my collection along with the game so there's a lot more cards in the game but um, this new mode called standard is coming there's a bunch of old stuff that's going away okay well I don't mm. oh yes okay that was an amazing top deck 4-4 four, four. if there's a beast on the board it becomes a 7-7 seven, seven. This high man's about to die. Well, do I want to kill him? That's probably a dumb question. How do I back out? There we go. Yeah, I do want to kill him. Did two damage. Pop. Trade. Smack the face. Alright. That's great. So he's got that that, that card poops out to two twos. Um that does not kill my 7-7, seven, seven, and he needs to use both of them to kill my 4-3. Thank you, Power of the Wild. Uh, so that's a pretty good setup. While he's pondering what to do next, I'll just remind, remind everyone that we are doing this stream for Transactive. Um, it is a charity that, and I can trade now, that provides services for transgender youth. Um, and as far as I know, it is the only uh, center like this in America. So um, they need all the support they can get. They're doing great work, and we're, we're trying to raise money to support them here today. Uh, I'm sure that the people, uh, I, the people who run the center have been in the stream. They could speak to it way better than I could. Um, but, uh, yeah, they, they could use your money however much you want to give. Um, this is really funny. So gold cards are more expensive, but they're animated portraits. And this is probably the least animated animated portrait I've ever seen. What does he got here? What are you doing, buddy? It's a bad choice. You're going to get your guy killed. Go there. Go there. Okay. Or go face. Go face for one. Eh. Meh. Go face for four. Go face for four. Just go face for three or four and I win. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? You can't clear this board. Go face. Or go there. Fine. I don't have three damage in my hand, but I can go fishing for it. Now, this is cool. This is going to be a great use. What the hell? Oh, what's with the aggression? All right, so this is this is a great use of the recombobulators. So I, I've got three damage to face right now. Well, technically I've got, or sorry, I've got seven damage to face right now. I've got eight in my, you know, with my hero power. Uh, and I can go fishing now with my Gnomish Inventors. Amazing. Bring me a card. Nope. Oh, that would have been a great card! Oh, oh, I could have used that to put two damage on phase. What are you doing? All right, we're trying this again. Come on, please, 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 please. Please, something good. No! Damn. All right, that's not... I don't mind missing that one as much. Whatever. Uh, I'm going to lose Dr. Boom because he's not a beast. And I go face. And I probably should have developed that. You know, a better a better choice. Well, 7-7 seven, seven is 7-6 seven, is, is okay. I could have used the recombobulator there to change him because he's missing some health. Uh, in fact, an even better choice, now that I think about it, would have been to hit the 4-3 with my 7-6 and then recombobulate it. Because I might not get back to 7-7, seven, seven, but it'll be better than 
whatever that is, 7-2. So, um, that's all good. He's thinking now, he gets my two recombobulators with his two hyenas. Uh, he needs, what, two damage from his hand to kill my snake. Um, and I'm kind of dead in the water right now, right? Um, I'm racing the clock. A mid-range hunter, I don't know if it has healing or not. He might. Dude! <laughs> what the hell is going on? Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Why not a win streak? Why not a win streak at rank 15 with freaking trans druid? Yeah, sure. Why not? That's awesome. That's, that's freaking hilarious. Um... Wow, that's that's three concedes in a row. I, you know, I'm gonna stop talking about it because I don't want to jinx myself. Freaking amazing! Oh man, we are already 45 minutes in. Win streak, man. Dude, anyone can be a bona fide Hearthstone pro. Um, and at, as is clearly, you know, I going into tonight. Well, going into making this deck. Um, we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about this hero portrait in a second here. But going into making this deck, I will admit I was I was pretty jaded with Hearthstone. Just like I said, the meta is pretty stagnant. It's Secret Paladin, it's mid range Druid, and it's Reno Locker, Handlock. You know, choose your flavor of the day um, as the decks that are just the most powerful, and everyone kind of has to play if they want to be uh, be competitive. Um, but this has really been a process of rediscovering the fun for me. Right? I have made a completely ridiculous deck with completely ridiculous objectively bad cards. This card, the Gnomish Experimenter, is an, ob an objectively bad card. Um, however, I seem to be doing alright with it. Um, and I'm certainly having fun with it. Alright, so I think I think what I'm going to do here, uh, I've got this Power of the Wild, which allows me to buff my minion. Play my Darnassus Aspirant this turn. He, you know, hits it with his zombie, and we both survive, and he plays the 1-1 next turn. I can buff it with Power of the Wild and trade with the 1-1, one, one, get a little extra value out of it. So, Also, I have nothing else to play, and I'm not summoning the 3-2 Panther just to die to the mummy. The zombie, excuse me, not a mummy. Alright, so this is, I'm going to guess, well, what paladin has um, freaking zombie chow in it? Zombie Chow is a 2-3 for 1, which is really good stats for 1, but it heals the enemy's face for 5 when it dies, um, which usually means all the you know damage that it does to face goes away. So you use it... Um, what do I want to do? Actually, no. I like... Do I have another 2-cost card in here? No. All right. I like this. What I'm going to do... Power of the Wild, and yes, I'm buffing just the one guy. But bear with me here. Then I take the shield off of this guy. Oh, th that was dumb. Th so that was super dumb. <laughs> Oops. All right. So what I should have done is hit him first, then kill the guy. That would have healed me all the way back to full health. Uh, whatever. That's fine. Now, I've, uh, you know, I will hopefully trade with the mini bot. That's good. Got him off the board. I'll lose my mana crystal. Fine. Whatever. Muster for battle. I'd say Druid of the Flame is a pretty good counter for Muster for battle. Just, it takes a lot to take that off the board. Hmm, do I want to do anything else? No. I think I think that's the right play here. Alright, the, the hero portrait here. Um, to get this portrait, and I wish it would like zoom in when I bring it up. That's a special portrait, it's not the base hero, which is Uther Lightbringer. Um, to get that portrait, you had to reach level 20 in WoW. Which, believe it or not, um, before I found out about that, I had never... Oh, this is going to be annoying. He's got, like, competitive spirit hiding in there or something. Um, I had never, ever played WoW before. So, um, what I did is I just was like, okay, this is the perfect excuse I'm going to play. Trady Wady. Um, and get to level 20. I'm really excited. Um, but I, I did not enjoy WoW at all. And I talk about it a lot on the, hey, that's bad. Um, on the most recent level, I talk about it. Just basically that... Are you going to kill it? Wait a second. Had he already attacked with his weapon? Mm. Why would he have? Did he forget he had his weapon? I don't understand. This is weird. That was weird. That was a weird play. 
Does he want me to kill it? No, he's... Okay, this guy's smart. He's just... Well... No, because I can clear it off with my... Okay, so I can kill this guy with my um, hero power, and I live another day. And in the meantime, I can throw down some other minions, so... Uh, hello, yeah, 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 that'd be quiet. Please. I really hope he doesn't have Consecrate, because that would suck. Alright. That might not have been optimal, but whatever. Wow, actual donations are really, really freaking high. That is awesome. The bar over on the left... Oh, the bar over on the left is... is I can't see it right now, but that is my deck list. What the hell is this deck? <laughs> We're at level 15 now. We should not be seeing weird-ass decks like this. What is happening? I don't understand. Um... Oh, I really don't understand. Okay, I, this will just be some fun. So what I can do is I can play the Experimenter, which will go out. It's a horrible body for 3-2, and the Battle Cry sucks, so it's a bad card. But I can redeem it a little bit by then recombobulating it. The real thing I need right now is to get that 3-4 off the board, because that's just going to start overwhelming me. Um, no, what I need is Swipe. So I'm playing this first. I'm going to pull Swipe. Swipe, 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 Swipe. I know, okay. Never mind. Um, <laughs> that would have been cool though, right? That would have been really cool. Uh, let's change this and hopefully get a stronger body. Meh. It's an okay body. And by body, I mean the stats of the card. That sounded really like FBI. It's just an okay body dog. Interesting. Now, is a 1-4... Here's a question. Is a 1-4 with taunt better than a 3-2 without taunt? Discuss. What's to stop people in chat from telling the player what's up? Oh, interesting. I had I had someone tell me while I was streaming once that I had an easy stream snipe name because Green Laser is um, my name in the game and Green Laser is... Uh, Green Laser 73 is my stream. Right now, it'd be hard for them to find me. I guess if they were like... I really need swipe. I want swipe so bad. Just give me swipe. Alright, swipe times two. It's gonna happen. I know it's gonna happen. S uh, not swipe. But, well, this still kills it. So, you know what? Not, not all is lost. How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? Kill that bad boy. Oh, uh, okay. Do I want to load up the board with two three twos? No, he's totally got Consecrate. Um. Another night on the prowl. What does this guy do? Okay, so it's that Murloc is no big deal because his battle cry doesn't help. Because uh, he was summoned, not played. All right, so battle cries only trigger if you play the minion from your hand. If it's summoned by something else, or if like I recombobulated a minion that had a battle cry, the battle cry would not proc. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, boy, this is gonna be hard. There's one. There's two. Three does not kill me. Now I need swipe. No, I don't get swipe. <laughs> really, like it, swipe would solve so many problems for me. I just... Ooh, I have enough mana. Alright, if I don't get a swipe, God hates me. God hates me and he wants me to lose. Come on, swipe! Come on. Alright. Confirmed, God hates me. What are we gonna do? I've got four. I might just go fishing for a beast. I can't kill Dr. Boom. I'm probably gonna lose this game. Um... Mm -hmm -hmm. Give me, like, King Crush or something here. That'd be nice. Alright, hey. I'm gonna redeem, because legitimately, of these three cards, <laughs> Malorn is the best. So, I'll take Malorn. And, uh, let's see here. How to do this? Kill him, and, I don't know, go face or something. 
This game is looking bad. Uh, oh, right, yeah. So the overlay, that is literally just an image that I took of my deck list. Um, so people could see what cards are in it. Dr. Boom, that's why he's a Dr. Boom. Um, oh, boy. Yeah, I'm, I'm losing this game. But let's play Malorn, and we'll have some fun before it's all over. Does he have enough to kill me next? Oh, he does. I didn't know he hadn't attacked yet with Dr. Boom. Um, <laughs> we're going to play Malorn, and then we're going to play Tinkmaster over Spark. And it's going to get his Dr. Boom. Calling it now. This guy's like, what in the world is happening? Alright, a 1-1 one -one into a 1-1. One -one. Just for fun. <laughs> and this guy's going, this fool, is, how is he at level 15 right now? Or rank 15, excuse me. Uh, where was swipe when I needed it? Swipe, like, three turns in a row there. I had I had the mana to play it, and it would have, you know, saved me. Just couldn't do it. One hero per deck until it dies. Um, you can make as many heroes as you want. The hero just determines what cards you have access to in your deck. And Jolly, you're going to have me starting to explain stuff, as well as other people, so you get all the information at once from multiple angles. But yeah, so Hearthstone, uh, the twist here is that you choose your hero when you build your deck. The hero has a special mm -hmm. hero power, which you always have access to once a turn. Um, and then it also has special class cards that no other class can get access to. Well, except for, like, uh, Grand Crusader, which gives you a Paladin card and some other random stuff. But for the most part, <laughs> has special class cards that no one else has access to. Um, which determines kind of the deck that you build. Alright. Let's see here. It's 2-3-4. It's not bad, but the 3 is bad. Playing against Druid... You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw back the three and the four and just hope for the opening of Living Roots plus Power of the Wild. <laughs> you will have a Gnomish Experimenter, which okay, fine. There's there's the Power of the Wild I wanted. I wasn't that far off. Let's um let's put him out there. Draw a spell, please. Hey, there's the th ooh. Oh hey, okay. This just got really interesting. This is not a bad start, because I can recombobulate the 3-2 into a stronger body. Oh, this is a really good start. These cards are coming together nicely. Let's check this out. Okay, so I hit him. That trades. Theoretically, now I'm down to one health. That's a bad thing. But I recombobulate him into a new three-cost minion. Spider tank. Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> Oh my god! That's a great play! For a bunch of 1-1 minions on board? Oh, that's awesome. So this is the Frothing Berserker. It gains one attack every time a minion takes damage. So he's in trouble. Um, he's in lots of trouble. Because I'm going to get attacked there twice. And then... I'm going to get attacked there once. And he just turned my guy into a 5-4. Oh, wow! I'm getting a good start here. Alright, so I summon two 1-1 one, one saplings. Fine, whatever. But then I buff everyone, and I've got three minions on board now. So now I've got a 6-5 on turn three. This deck has created a 6-5 on turn three. Thank you very much. And if he does anything other than kill that 6-5, it's going to get stronger. It's going to get more attack. This is ridiculous, folks. This is straight up like... Now I've got two cards left in my hand, and I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but... This is, this is ridiculous. What are you doing? He's got a big... No? <laughs> I just won on turn 3 with this deck! At rank 15! What is happening? Oh, wow. Wow! I... Uh, wow! <laughs> uh, that is... I don't even know. Like... Wow! That's ridiculous! Absolutely ridiculous. I'm glad I'm recording this. That is... Holy crap. <laughs> uh, that That is an amazing game. Like I said previously, hey, I've been able to win on turn 5 with this deck. 
Well, I did it once. Now I can say I have one on turn three with this deck. Man, that got out of control. Um... And that was, that was with Gnomish Experimenter and Recombobulator, which are two of the theme cards that are only in there because I was forcing myself to have them. Okay. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> this is... This is... Um, this is the dream opener right here. So I just, I just want to take a second to appreciate this. Um, Living Roots. One cost card. It either deals two tam damage or summons two 1-1 one -one saplings, right? So, 2 one, 1 saplings, it's okay for turn 1. Power of the Wild, when you play it, gives all other minions plus 1, plus 1. And there's another option. But basically, that means that I will have two 2-2s two on board. Now, I wouldn't normally have enough mana to do that turn 1, but Innervate is a card that gives me two extra mana crystals this turn only. It kind of allows me to cheat and play something more powerful than I could for one turn. And the cost of it is... I have to have a card slot, right? So I got to throw back the Tomb Spider because I need something to play on turn two now. Because I'm playing all three of these cards on turn one. And it's going to be... <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god! Okay, if every... No. Okay, that's fine. I'll, you know, that that's kind of a good card for turn two. All right, so here comes, here comes the craziness. So we just turned into face craziness right here. So I play that. And I play this. Two, two, twos on board. This is like the dream right here. All right, so end turn. Next turn, I think I'm gonna play Savage Roar, which gives your characters two attack for this turn only. Okay, well, fine. Well, fine. Whatever. Who, what, what deck am I playing right now? And do I gamble and go for the Devil Soar? Guys, I got a good feeling. I got to tell you, I got a great feeling about this. It's that kind of night. Here comes the Devil Soar. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, this is the best game ever. This is like dream. Okay, so I didn't play Savage Roar. I played Tinkmaster over Spark, and he either turns my guy into a 1 1 Squirrel or a 5 5 Devil Soar. <laughs> what can you. What can you do but Hero Power? Like, what. What option do you have? Now, I can play Savage Roar this turn. And I'm about to hit face for... Oh my god. I'm about to hit face for 11, 16 damage. This is ridiculous, folks. And I've got Keeper in the, of the Grove in my hand. For turn 4. So I get to silence something or I get to deal damage to it. What are you using to climb to rank 15? Um... One sec. So I get to kill that guy. That's this is amazing. Hold on, let me answer this guy. What is it? Twitch. Did that not go through? Maybe it doesn't let me do stuff. All right. Two damage. Pop that guy. 3-3 three, three survives. Because it diverts... Okay, so he just played a secret that diverts my next attack to a random 2-1 guy. And everything else goes through. Guys, this is ridiculous. This is unbelievable. There we go. <laughs> Turn 4! There, did that go? I, I don't know if, if that's going through or not. Holy crap! Holy crap! I... Yikes! <laughs> yeah, man, I'm in marketing. That's I gotta do that. <laughs> that's, uh, that's crazy. All right, I might get to rank 14 on this deck. I'm knocking on the door right now. And do I have a win streak right now? I either have a win streak or I'm about to start a win streak. Let's bring this on. Let's do this. I'm blowing people's minds right now. And this is like, yeah, I just, that was crazy. I had so many good options. So if he hadn't played that, that um, 
Anoyatron, which is the one two with Taunt and Divine Shield, I could have Savage Roared and gone face for two or four, eight, you know, ten damage on turn three, which is ridiculous. Alright. I'll take it. Um I think all three of those are good to keep. Wow. Interesting. Alright, so we got a Murloc Rush. Mm hmm. Do I counter Rush? So I could turn my guy into a 3-2 with charge, kill him that turn. Then I've spent two of my cards, and that's just okay. Something tells me he's going to be going face with whatever he plays. So I think what I would rather do is let's go, let's play this guy with stealth. And then next turn... I'll use him to trade, and then recombobulate, and then um, power the wild. Miss, miss, come face, come on. There we go. What deck is this? I don't, like I'm at 15. This is where you're supposed to be seeing all the stupid stuff. Like the, the, the meta decks that everyone plays. Come on, give me something good. <laughs> I found the worst possible card. Do I even do I even bother um, buffing this? Yeah, yeah, because it'll put my okay. So basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm putting my put my three two out of reach, which is now a four three. I've got a five two that's definitely going to die to this flame juggler. But if he's playing an aggro deck, I've just forced him to trade two minions into what is now a pirate. So he has done next to nothing, right? Oh, come on, lightning bolt. Whatever. Ooh. So, let's hope, let's hope that I get the 1-1 one, one squirrel side of things. Because I'm about to play Tink Master over Spark. And we're about to see what happens, because this could turn this could turn into a one-one squirrel, which would be great, or a five-five devil soar, uh, the T-Rex equivalent. Let's see what we get. No, oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad for me. That is very bad for me. If it could just be like a five-three, and that way Tink, Tink Master Over Spark can at least deal with it. Like that'd be nice. I would take that. Okay, now. I'm gonna start digging myself in a hole. No, come face. Actually, you know, I don't I don't mind. For what again seems to be an aggro deck. It's fine. Uh let's see here. Do I swipe a wolf? Knowing that leaves the devil sore up, but that I can uh potentially trade with it with a hero power next turn. No, it'll still be behind taunt. I gotta, I gotta kill the Devil Sword, right? And he's gonna spend a turn regrouping, and then I can get out my Druid of the Claw. So, that's fine. So, kill that. It's fine. It's all good. Now I get four damage coming to my face instead of five. Well, no, instead of seven. It was the right choice. Hmm... Okay, so this is probably where I get hexed. This is so weird, like, like I said, I'm at the level where you're supposed to be seeing all the boring meta decks, and I think I haven't seen one normal deck tonight. Three damage, three damage, come on, three damage. Five damage, fine. At least it wasn't six. That's, that's the one good thing. Refill in his hand. I, I honestly do not recognize this deck. Yeah, he's, he's playing it smart. Don't overextend yourself, buddy. Okay. 
So there is um, my turn seven. I kind of, all right, I kind of want to play, well, do I play my Drew to the Claw as a 4-4? Four, four? With charge. No, there's no point in me doing that. I want to be a 4-6, and he has to hit me, unless he hexes this. And see a John, I just saw that he was leaving. I'm guessing that's summarized Proust. All right, what does he got? What does he got? What are you going to hit me with? And why is it Hex? This is, it's always good when your opponent is thinking. Well, unless it means that they're streaming like I am and they're explaining everything and, and talking and having fun. Ooh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. So he clearly feels good that he can build up a pretty imposing presence. You know what, I betcha this bad boy is sitting on... Bloodlust. Bloodlust is a 5 mana card um, that gives all your minions plus 3 attack for the next turn. So it's kind of like a, a Savage Roar, which I have, only it's uh... what do you got? Uh, what deck is this? My god! Um, kind of like my Savage Roar, only it does not apply to face. What are you doing, buddy? Three damage. Three damage. Come on, three damage. Come on, low rollers. Hey, good. Really interesting decisions here. So he's got to be sitting on a lot of burst damage. And this is where I kind of wish that... Um, I had some more taunt in my hand. All right. Let's see what I can clear out. Would have rather hit the four three. I would rather have hit for more damage. <laughs> um, but I'll make a good trade here. And actually, I should have waited to hero power until I had drawn my cards. So that was a misplay on my part. Um, draw three cards is kind of random. Hero power is certain. So if I had drawn like a living roots, maybe that would have changed what I did. But that. It's not bad, because for turn 9, I've got the Tomb Spider and the Druid of the Fang. Uh, and both of those will proc my Knights of the Wild, um, getting them down to 5 each, which means my turn 10 play is two six sixes on the board. He's going to burst me down. He's got Lava Burst, or whatever that is. He's got Burst. No, he doesn't. I'm on the clock, though. It was getting bad. Okay, what to do here? Cause I need I need to kill the guy. I've got I've got I've got three turns to win, assuming he has no burst in his hand. I need to hero power every turn to try to up 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 give myself an extra turn. Um so that's four damage to kill this guy, mm -hmm. two damage or two mana, so that leaves me at six. Do I have any three mana? I've got the Nanassus aspirant, and that's about as good as I'm gonna do. So this is this is out of necessity. I'm uh, I'm kind of in a dire spot here. But there, I'm gonna hero power, and again, I'm just doing that because that buys me an extra turn if he um, has any kind of. Oh, I didn't know that's the sound he made. I do not play Hearthstone with the sound on a lot, um, but at this point, I'm just struggling to stay alive because uh, he has a card that takes away two of his mana crystals next turn, and then he's playing it right now. I guarantee you. There it is. No. What? Oh. Alright, well. This was a well played game. It's a roundabout way for him to get there. He had another card that could have won it for him. I didn't even have lethal next turn, so I don't I don't think I was gonna hang in there. I had all my big minions in my hand though. I was I was ready to go. He just whittled me down with that hero power. Man, knocking on the door rank fourteen. That's uh that's something else. Yeah. He, uh, he got lucky in that case. He had exactly what he needed. In fact, I'm, I'm surprised that it... Because he didn't need to unlock those mana crystals. Like, there was no trickery to that. That was just... Uh... Whatever. More beer. I'll be right back. Um, discuss in the chat what cards I should keep and throw back.
stuff. All right. <laughs> yes, I am very fun and inebriated. Um, keep Drew to the saber, toss Tomb Spider, keep Tinkmaster Overspark, because Tinkmaster Overspark! What's up, dude? By I mean, by dude. Hmm. Interesting. I could play him this turn. And actually, that's, that's a safe play, right? It's a safe play because I get a 3-3. Three, three. Not the most amazing body for 3 mana, but he doesn't do anything. So, vanilla 3-3 three, because three, nothing's on the board. <laughs> oh, you can't quiet down too much when you drink. I'm the opposite. I become very, very gregarious. Is that the right word? I get louder and more friendly, and I just love everyone when I'm drunk. Oh, and if I get blackout drunk, I start witnessing to people. That's uh, that's where I go, which is nice. It tells me my heart is in the right place, so that's fine. But uh, go figure. But clicked on that I thought anyway so in a case start here um, the 3-3 three, three has traded once it'll probably trade again before it dies or die when it trades a second time however you want to say it it's value yeah interesting so it literally is going to trade again um, what are you doing buddy is this the vanilla secret paladin that I've been waiting for? So I'm just I'm just keeping his minions off the board. So uh, you know, paladin. For those not familiar with the game, the general principle is um, if you can kill it, kill it because it'll get bust, uh, buffed next turn, and then you will get busted. Interesting that he. That is a very poor choice on his part. Why you would use your minion to kill me when you could have used your weapon is a is a mystery. Um, so, again, I'll keep that off. And this is nice. I will proc my Knight of the Wild. And this is a very strong now. I will get uh, Druid of the Claw next turn. And then I'll get Knight of the Wild on turn 6. And in fact, I'll get Knight of the Wild for 5 on turn 6, which is great. And I get, I'm getting these super trades. Like, what is this guy doing? He's just building up cards like no other. Maybe, maybe I am playing. Uh huh. Nah. Maybe I'm playing too conservative here. Because if he is clearly being very conservative, saving up his cards. I'm giving him all the leash he needs to do that, right? What? What are you doing, dude? What deck is this? I don't understand. What is happening? Oh, I'm crushing you. That's what ha that's what's happening. Good lord. <laughs> snakes, it had to be snakes. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I'm about to crush you. What is he? What deck is this? I've I've no idea what he's playing right now because he's using his abusive sergeant on his freaking silverhand recruit before it can attack. So um, abusive sergeant gives a minion plus two attack, but only for that turn, which means that it's useless. Uh, that's gonna be blessing of kings. Um, it's useless if you play it on a minion that can't attack. So he wasted that. Um, he's going to clear out my board a little bit here. Hey, you learned your lesson. Good job, kiddo. That was smart. <laughs> oh, I just feel this what I can do. Oh, this is good. I'm not that drunk. I'm, this is whatever. Oh, my God. That's good stuff right there. Swipe deals four damage to the person you target and one damage to everyone else. See you later. This guy is getting wrecked. What is in your hand? What cards have you been saving? What We are up to seven mana now. You've played like three cards. 
and they've all been bad. Maybe he's got a Frost Giant in there. So a Frost Giant is a card that gets cheaper every time you use your hero power. Block me out of spells. What are you going to do? Oh no, help me. Dog, let me, let me tell you about the minions that are in my hand right now. Yeah, you better. Wow. I don't... I don't know what that game was. That was versus a rank 14 person. I just beat a rank 14 person. I just noticed that. So you guys probably can't see um, because I've got my deck list up on the side. That game was versus a rank 14 person. So let it be shown. I've beaten one of them. Once again, we find ourselves knocking on the door. Uh, and this is probably a good moment to take a time, take a second, and uh, recenter on why we're doing this. Why are we kicking ass and taking names with a crazy deck, with crazy stupid cards in it that should not be in decks that are at rank 15? I don't understand what's happening tonight. Um, we're raising money for Transactive, uh, the Transactive Gender, Gender Center to be specific. Um, it is a charity that provides resources and help for transgender youth and their families. Um, as far as I know, it's the only one of its kind. Um, and they're doing great work. We want to support them in any way that we can. Um, so please donate to them any amount uh, that you see fit. Uh, that money will go absolutely to good use. And we hope that this um, isn't just in Portland, because it's just in Portland right now, but that this expands and we see this kind of support everywhere. Um, you know, I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio, um, and, and we are where, um, I believe it's Leah Alcorn. Maybe Leah Alcorn? I think Leah Alcorn. Um, you know, chose to take her life just because it was such a hostile environment for transgender people um, and had the kind of resources that uh, Transactive provides been available to her, to her family, um, things could have turned out very differently. So um, the work that they're doing is absolutely needed uh, and, and we should be supporting them any way that we can. So with that very somber note, let's, uh, let's get into some Hearthstone. Warrior. I think this is the first warrior that I have um, encountered so far. Playing with the Heroes of the Storm card back, by the way. So this guy, this guy likes to double dip on his Blizzard fun. What I want to see, what I want to see, is okay. So do I go aggressive? I don't have Power of the Wild, so I've got nothing to follow up. Um, my turn one play with. However, most most one cost minions. Hmm, most one cost minions are better than uh, a one one, which is what I'll get here. So I can re what I'm thinking is I can re recombobulate one of them, and maybe I'll get like a leper gnome or something. So you know what? What we're we're gonna do this because I feel like recombobulating shit. No, even better. I've kept my coin. So now turn turn two. I can use my coin to play a three mana minion. Play Tink Master over Spark and potentially get a five five on board. And there's no downside, right? Well, unless he plays a minion and that gets turned into a five five. But otherwise, there's no downside because they're already one ones. So the worst that's going to happen is it's turned into a one one beast, a squirrel, which will proc my Knight of the Wild and move me up in the chain of when I can play that. So this this just got really good. All right, here we go. 14. And and by the way, I am playing a rank 14 person. Let the record show. It's Papa say squirrel. All right, no loss. No loss. It's still a 1-1. One, one. This guy's going what the hell? And I've just, you know, procced my my Knight of the Wild. So now I can turn it play him on turn 6. Uh, right. This guy's like, I don't, I don't under, it's, what, what is this? There's a squirrel coming at me. I'm going to recombobulate the sapling and not the squirrel. Hey, that's, that's a perfectly legitimate play. Um, and I do that because, um, the 1-1 one, one squirrel could potentially trigger, if it survives, that'd be fantastic. Oh, dude, don't gloat. I'm clearly playing a fun deck here, and you're not having any fun, so I don't want to hear it. Um, so the squirrel is not going to survive, because the next time this guy attacks, it's going to do one damage to all my minions. Malorn, three for three on Tomb Spiders, and the people who have been watching the entire time know that this is true. I am three for three. Malorn has shown up every time, and it's a sign, yes, I will pick it. I understand. I got you. 
Um, so, get this. I've got two Knights of the Wild in my hand. I'm going to play one for five next turn. Um, it's not itself a beast, which would be really cool. Well, let's see. If for some reason my spider survives, and it's going to, scratch what I just said, I'm playing a 7-7, because screw you, dude. Uh, oh, uh, well, hold on. Yeah, I mean, that's the strongest play. Now, the question that I'm debating in my head is how to get rid of this sludge belcher. Because <sighs> he's probably sitting on a brawl. Brawl kills all minions on the board, friendly and enemies, except for one. And um, to have a sludge belcher on board, it's going to be bad news for me. All right. I don't think I attack anything. I mean, I can kill, I could kill the Sludge Belcher, but I'd sacrifice two means to do it. Well played. And then I can't kill the slime that comes after, because the Sludge Belcher, once I kill it, um, it poops out a little 1-2 slime that has taunt as well. So I'm just, I'm just going to pass, and I'm going to also silence this guy, because he's being annoying. And I know I'm being annoying, I'm taking too long, but whatever. Interesting choice. That choice makes a lot of sense, though. Alright. So I think this guy is playing a pretty traditional... Control Warrior deck. Which, finally, we've seen a normal deck, right? Like, it's about time. Kill that. Now, instead of playing instead of playing the Keeper of the Grove, which I could use to kill the slime, I can play that next turn and surprise him by taking out the slime. I'm going to play the Knight of the Wild, because it's a 6-6, and so he's going to need to hit me with both his minions, Harrison and the slime, to kill it. Um, and I'm thinking he's a little cocky, right? Because before I shut him up, he was talking a lot. So, uh, we're going to hope that he goes past it, uh, and then I get a nice trade out of this. I'm going to take this opportunity to read the chat a little bit. <laughs> Lots of hearth talk. <laughs> Jala, I'm sorry, I'm hardcore speaking harsh speak. I forget who it was in the Hearthstone thread. Uh, we were talking about how accessible it is, and he was like, you know, I bounced my giant with a panda. There's the double trade, that's good. Bounced my giant with a panda before shadow stepping it to play it for lethal. It's like, what? Um, Alright, I'm going to guess Reno Warrior. Probably. Um, <laughs> All right, so spawn this guy as a three-two. Use that to proc my seven-cost minion, um, and still hang on to my keeper of the grove to kill whatever comes next turn. Says I. Or I could just mourn for the hell of it. But he's got enough damage to kill it, so. Another night on the Get that beast value! We'll see what happens. Alright, we've got a half hour left on this stream, by the way. That's probably two or three more games, depending on how long this one goes. If it is a Reno Warrior, like I suspect, and you don't see this card except in Reno Warriors. Um, then it's going to go long. So maybe two more games after this. Do you have the oh, this is definitely Arena Warrior. There is no question. So Elise is a legendary from the latest expansion. She shuffles a card that does nothing itself. It's the map to the Golden Monkey, and all it does is draw another card, but shuffle the Golden Monkey into the deck. So basically you have to find that card, play that card, and then find the card that that puts into your deck, and that's how you quote-unquote win. Sorry. How I'm going to play this. Uh, let's see here. I really have not been paying enough attention. 
I think I silence this bad boy so I can hit him with this guy, that I can hit him with this guy, and this guy's like watching my plans laid out. And then I still have enough mana to play this guy. I like that. Silence you. Because this is a Reno deck, I should be entirely focused on keeping his minions at bay. Not letting him get... Hey, I have one of those! Not letting him get the upper hand on the board. Because if he does that, he's done. Basically, I'm at the point... I've, I've got to outlast not only his you know onslaught of minions, but I've also got to outlast his buff to full health with a card called Reno Jackson. When Reno Jackson is played, if you only have one copy of every card in your deck... Um, you get buffed back to full health. So there's a huge drawback, which is you have to build a deck with only one ofs um, if you always want it to work. Um, but the huge advantage is you basically get, you know, a restore to full health. That's bad. How many armor is he going to get out of this bad boy? Ooh, he's going to kill my 7-7. Seven, seven. That, was, that was a good play on his part. That, that got him a lot of armor. What the hell? I don't get that out of my deck. All right. Oh, this is craziness that's going to kill my guy, isn't it? How to deal with this? I got to get that armor smith off the board cuz that's bad news bears. Could hit this guy with this, with living roots, and with my hero power to kill him, but then that's six damage that I'm hanging out with. Seven in hero power is all I can do. I'm, I'm running a mana for this stuff. So maybe I just gotta trade seven in hero power. Alright. Ah, oh, so painful. I don't like it. Don't like it at all. What's up, Malorn? First time Malorn has actually hit the board in one of these games, so we'll see if he does anything for me. Probably will just die to a big game hunter. I assume that's in this deck. Although he's all right, so he's starred for cards right now, right? He's got two cards. And the hunter does not have a bunch of stellar ways to draw cards. He's going to kill my guy with a shield slam. Fine. Innervate, 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 innervate. You're worthless to me. Alright, so... We got to start... Crushing. Ah, do I want to play this in, in charge? I was going to, you know... Play it with charge to go face. But. Like, I've got to start eating away at his stuff. The innervate at this point is just a dead, dead card. Like, no good to me. Oh, I can't do that. Rookie mistake. Alright. So basically, I'm down to very few cards, and the cards I've got are crap for late game. He's down to very few cards. Um, he's just building up armor. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This is bad. This is bad for me. This is very bad for me. Alright. So we go here. We go here. We go here, then here. And then Drew to the Claw, I'm going to put out in taunt form or in charge form. I got I to gotta start bursting him down, man. Like, I, he's got to go. This is bad. You know what I need? I need my Gnomish Experimenters. I need to draw some powerful spells. That's what needs to happen here. Oh, my God. Baron Geddon, you suck. At least I can kill him. Mm. Lame. For the wild. 
I'm hanging on to this. I have no idea what it's going to be good for because unless I like draw a spell with a gnomish experimenter and then draw Malorn again or something like that, I'm going to fatigue, aren't I? We got we got half our decks left. This has been the slowest game in history. I don't want to surrender. Oh hey, what I was talking about is about to come true. Watch me zap Malorn right here, or draw another Innervate. Let's go. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh man! Oh, that's horrible. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, most broken card in the game, and I zap it into a chicken. Broken in a good way. Um, Gnomish experimenter might be the most broken in a bad way. Damn, that is brutal. Oh, help! Help was on the way. Oh, I've got that card. I, I actually opened that legendary. I haven't seen that before in a uh, in a Reno Warrior, so I might do that. Whirlwind. If you execute that dude, you are crazy. All right, that's fine. All right, for time's sake, for entertainment's sake, I think it's time to get out of this game. Oopsie. Nature will rise against you. Well played. Know when you are beat. I um, for those not familiar with the game, I I know what's in my deck. Dr. Boom was maybe like the one thing in my deck that could help me come back, and even then, it was in a bad place. Um, so it wasn't worth me continuing the game, just because he has a deck that is built to go late game. Um, I have a deck that's built kind of mid-rangey, and I'd used all my tricks. Slash, had, had all my tricks turned into chickens. Oh, uh, Force of Nature in this deck. So, uh, Force of Nature summons two, or wow, summons three 2-2 two, two minions that have charge. Uh, so they can attack the turn that they're summoned, but they die at the end of your turn. So basically they show up for a turn, they can attack, and then they die. Um, that is very commonly comboed with Savage Roar, which gives all your minions plus two attack to just have a huge amount of burst damage in one turn. I have never opened... A, um, a force of nature and I have never ever um, seen fit to craft it because I'm an idiot and I don't know what cards are good and now we are close enough to um, to standard coming out that it's not worth it happening and why I say that is when standard comes out it's a new format that's going to be deployed um, there's a new expansion that's going to come with it um, I think I save the living roots there's a new expansion that's coming out uh, and a new format that's coming out. And with it, they are getting rid of a bunch of cards and they're also nerfing a bunch of cards. And they have all but promised... Oh, I thought he was about to coin hero power. They have all but promised... Uh, they've all but promised that um, Force Roar combo will be a part of that nerf. So if that's happening... Oh, this is so dumb. I'm not. I'm not using four mana to kill one robot. Um, you know, if that's happening, it's not we worth. Not worth me crafting it at this point. And sorry, I'm becoming incoherent real quick here. So I better finish this. Finish this bottle. Ah. <sighs> Force Roar will be in standard, but they've promised they're going to nerf it. Oh god, I'm about to get mauled. Mauled like the national. Maul, that is. So I'm just going to clear this guy off. So I take the two damage option on my living roots. Also hit him with my charge minion. And I've kept myself in some semblance of... I'm behind, but... You know, it's not the end of the world. Um, turn 3 has probably got Tinkertown Technician. Or Mechanical Yeti. Damn, I am so screwed. This is bad. This is going very poorly for me right now. Just in case you're wondering, it's going poorly for me. Throw out my Tomb Spider just in hopes of getting something. Hmm... I I might in this instance take the armored warhorse because I'm likely to win the joust. Uh, I've got I've got 
Yeah, what to do indeed. I'm likely to win the joust. I'll have charge. I can kill him. Hopefully, okay, hopefully he ignores me and just goes face. I can play Armored Warhouse next turn. And kill his Yeti. And further buff my... Or further reduce my Knight of the Wild. And... Clear everyone off? If he's smart, he'll trade. He'll kill my guy. Or he'll go face. Trade. Be smart, trade. Be smart. Or don't. Alright, I, I'll take it. Because... Now, I'm going to play... Oops. I want to play this. Uh, you didn't want that. And there's nothing to do for me to do with my Innervate. Alright, so I've got an Innervate. That's an important point. Because next turn, instead of having 7, I can have 9. And with that, I can play my Tomb Spider or my Warhorse and my uh, Drew to the Thing. So I've got a guaranteed 7-7 seven, seven next turn. Oh, screw you! Gosh. Not going well for me. I need a Silence is what I need. Alright, so I'm going to go fishing right here. Uh, and what I'm looking for is a minion called an Iron Beak Owl. This might not even save me, because this bad boy is out of control. Looking for the Iron Beak Owl. And what the Iron Beak Owl will do is silence a minion, so it'll basically turn that card into a 1-2 with nothing. Didn't get it. Um, just to stay alive, like to survive another turn, I've got to throw out the Grizzly because it's got Taunt. Because why not? I might I might be dead regardless. Nine health. Yeah, depending on what he's got in his hand. I and mages tend to be bursty, so he probably has four damage in his hand. Or three damage in his hand. There's a lot of ways that a mage can deal three damage. Yeah, he's got a fireball. Alright. That's fine. That is fine. There's, this is that losing streak I was warning you about. Although I've only lost, what, two? Second loss in a row? I shouldn't be down. I was knocking on the door of rank 14 with this crazy-ass deck. So, there is still hope. I could get back. Probably not in the time that this is going to happen. Or that, that I'm streaming. But I bet you I could get there. I'm humming along with the music. I don't know if that syncs up on the stream. Catching up on the, the uh, chat here. Uh-oh. Um, why is Dennis is different? I'm not sure if that uh, is referring to the stream or to my thing. So let me know, because um, the deck list is not a functioning deck list. It's a super low-tech screenshot of my deck list. Um, however, if the stream is frozen, that is another matter that I need to address. Actually, do I want to keep this? What am I playing against? A druid? Nah, throw it back. I'll be fine. Now, now you guys got me paranoid. Confirm is working with the stream. Confirm all is working with the stream. Oh, stream's fine. Okay. Oh, the donation counter is stuck. Oops. All right, that's all good. Wait, I thought I was up against a hunter. Or sorry, a druid. Did I misread that? I must have misread that. All right, so probably a face hunter because that's what a normal person would do. I've got my dream opening here of two one ones on turn one, turn them into two twos on turn two, and um, win on uh, turn three. That's odd. Why would he hero power on turn two? 
So probably not a face hunter at this point. Um, a face hunter has no cards above three cost, at least usually. Um, so <laughs> if he's not playing something on turn two, he has the most unlucky draw in the history of Earth. And what is going on? Oh, hey, check it out. I get, I get that combo that I was talking about where plus a mana crystal and then recombobulate. And this means I lose the death rattle of lose a mana crystal. And a 2-2 is okay. We would have preferred something with an extra attack since I don't get his battle cry, but that's fine. So um, for those not familiar with Hearthstone, I just played the Darnassus Aspirant, um, which its battle cry is gain a ma uh, mana crystal, and then its death rattle is lose a mana crystal. So basically, while it's alive, you have an extra ma mana crystal. By recombobulating it, I get rid of that negative death rattle, getting to keep my my uh, battle cry forever. What is this guy doing? Dog. <laughs> he's he's like, dog, how are you at rank 15? And I'm like, dog, how are you at rank 15? So this is good. This procs my uh, Knight of the Wild, gets it down to six so I can play it next turn. Um, I'm going to hit him with my... Huh? All right, so I'm, I'm going to keep this guy because if he plays a Freezing Trap, that bounces um, the Argent Protector and would be very good for me. So I'll, I'll kill off a Sapling, which is not actually a beast. It's not anything. And I'll, uh, I'll hope he that, that stymies his Secrets game. Dude, what are you doing? Oh, that's what he's doing. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt a lot. This is going to hurt like a dickens. Well played. Well, no, that's not even that's not even bad. Dog, I am so far ahead right now. That's that's no big deal. So I can kill him with that plus living roots and get off my nourish, which is going to refill my hand. And I like that as my option. So draw three cards here. We'll just see what I get. Knight of Wild, swipe is powerful. Double swipe. All right, cool. Then I slap two damage onto this bad boy. Kill him with my 4-2. Uh, I possibly could have traded my two 2-2s two into him and kept the 4-2 because it has taunt, but this is clearly not an aggro hunter, so... I don't think I'd be worried about any of that. Okay. So this is the point where I hope that what he played... Well, it doesn't even matter. Game... No. Game's over next turn. Game's over this turn? We'll find out. All right. So I'm going to hope he just played a freezing trap and attack with my Argent... Whatever. First. Uh, it was not. It was an explosive trap. So that kills off all my minions. There's nothing I could do about that. That's kind of... It's just game over. Um, I'm going to drive as much damage to his face as possible right now. He's clearly not playing a Reno deck because he's played, I think, two... Um, he's played two uh, Hyenas and he played, I think, two Release the Hounds. This is... Um, and I've got all these swipes in my hand, so I can deal 8 damage next turn from nowhere, and I win. Inch like, I don't, I have seen the weirdest decks. I have not seen a single Secret Paladin. Mysterious Challenger has not come out once during this stream, and that boggles my mind. Any other time I play Hearthstone, it is Secret Paladin, Secret Paladin, and for some variety, Secret Paladin. And here, I've, I've not seen a single one. I've seen instead seen all these crazy decks, which... I can't complain about because I'm, you know, I'm doing all right against him. But uh, that's, yeah, it's weird. See around Evan. Later even. No, that's not a goodbye. That is later even? Peter Jala. Later even. I don't understand. That's all good. Oh, good night, Jala. Yeah, see you, Jala, if you happen to sound somehow still be in the stream bye bye um uh, what do i want to do here living roots is a great starting card druid of flame is an okay starting card 
Night of the Wild is good to hold on to if you've got cards that proc it, which I've got one, but it's not until turn three, and I don't know what to do. I'm playing versus a druid, and don't get it twisted this time. It's actually a druid, not what turned into a hunter. You know what? I think it's I think it's greedy to say I want to hang on to that. Because it assumes that I'm going to have stuff to play every... You know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Let's do it! I've got ten minutes left. I ain't got time for regrets. Since I have no turn to play, I'll probably be using my hero power. Um, but I'm, I'm putting those saplings out there based on feel. Alright, he's gonna chill. I can respect that. I can respect that. Did I not send you to hit his face? Minion, when I send you to hit someone's face, you hit their face. That minion is fired. By which I mean, if I'm going to trade with one of them and not the other, I'm trading with the one that did not hit face. Okay. So Shade of Noxoramus is got stealth. It's a 2-2 two, two for 3, which is not very good, but it grows every single turn. Um, so basically, the longer I wait, the bigger it gets. And I can't do anything to hit it right now unless I have an area of effect spell, which I don't. Well, I've got Swipe, which is kind of area of effect, but that's not going to be enough to do the trick. It's going to start growing. Um, it's probably a pretty standard Druid deck. Uh, Mid-range Druid, he's basically got that out. He'll play another one at some point. Good, yeah, kill that one because he didn't attack face when I told him to. Um, and eventually... Um, he'll have kind of those two on board and he'll play like a force roar and kill me and it's whatever. It's all good, man. So I can't do anything but hit face with these guys. There's no point in me using swipe unless I was going to try to burst him down, which I'm not. Um, there's no point in me putting out two more saplings because he's probably got swipe in his hand, so that would just kill them. Um, so I think I hero power pass... Why not? Meanwhile, this guy gets bigger and bigger. And there's nothing I can do about it. Which again, if, if this this deck is okay playing from behind for a bit, because it'll it'll kinda pop right back when the time is right. Uh let's see. Ooh. Let's see here. So if I, if I hero power, or sorry, if I innervate out my Knight of the Wild, that leaves me with the Living Roots. Uh, one mana for that so I can kill off this and potentially kill whatever that is. And then he's got a 5-5 five, five with stealth going up against my 6-6. Six, six. And Druid doesn't traditionally have great removal options. So let's do that. But let's kill this mofo first just to see what he pops out. Because you never know, it could be right for me to audible over to a swipe. No, I, I want to kill that. Here comes the boom! You know what, a 6-6 six, six for 6 is just okay, but what are you going to do? Just fun and summer of ducks, sun's out, guns out, sun's tower of guns out. Oh, tower of guns is kind of a famously not that much fun game. I played it, I thought it was going to be all this fun, and oh, that is dangerous. Alright, so. I'm definitely playing Tinkmaster. No? So I'm going to hit him, and then a swipe kills those three. And then I'm going to play Tinkmaster Overspark to transform this guy into a freaking squirrel. No, I don't have enough mana for that. Damn it! So close! So close! Bring it all face. Bring all that damage face. Come on. Bring it face. Yeah, I can take it. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Alright. Tinkmaster Overspark is going to save my bacon here. Can't play him this turn, but... I'll play in next turn, I bet. Maybe. No, I'll probably pay a five and a five and a hero power. But what are you gonna do? Hmm. 
<laughs> but here's hoping, because that actually that could be a great use. Because at, at this point, even turning the shade into a five-five devil sore is a reduction in his stats, right? And it takes away his stealth. So that is, those are both things that I am perfectly happy with. Um, transforming the piloted shredder less so, and obviously I would love for either of them to be a squirrel. So let's go for squirrel. No! And again, not the worst thing that could happen, but it's okay. Uh, silence this bad boy. Keep the board clear. He is getting into Force Roar range, so I think Force Roar happens on turn 9, and he's got a strong base of minions on the board, so probably lose this, but what can you do? Do, 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 do. Alright. Yeah, and I think with this turn, that brings me into range of it. There's not a lot I can do. Power of the Wild, ooh. Nah, that's not really going to help me. At least I don't think it will. Yeah, because it's not, well, yeah, it's not going to help my guys survive that any better. Actually, if I five, here, let me, let me do this. So give that guy charge. Give my minions plus one, plus one. All right, now suddenly, both these guys survive. This guy trades. I'm in trouble anyway. Shouldn't have given him that T-Rex. That was a bad decision. Uh, looking at the time, I think this is going to be my last game because I know we got people coming up behind me and doing some cool stuff. So, um, thank you everyone for watching. Um, once again, we are doing this stream to raise money for Transactive. Um, it is a support center for transgender youth and their families. Uh, it's the only center of its kind that I'm aware of, uh, and they're doing great work. So. Uh, I think you guys are going to get to see the Force War combo in a second here. Unless something crazy happens. We'll go out on that. But anyway, donate to them. Um, it's a wonderful cause. And uh, I highly encourage you to, to participate. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been a pleasure. <laughs> Again! Every 4 for 4 now. Malorn. Ridiculous. Gotta take him. And I think the game is over. We'll watch. I think he's got Force Roar. Uh, he might just have swipe. He might not even need it. He's got it. He just wanted to show off. Oh, he doesn't have the other combo piece. Oh, that's fine, too. All right, cool. You've had your fun. Well played. No, that was a good game. Uh, but anyway, it's a wonderful cause. You guys should donate to it for sure. Um, and uh, thank you for watching me play this crazy deck, even though I went on a losing streak to end. Um, but yeah, I mean... Rank 15 with a deck like this and knocking on the door of rank 14 is ridiculous. So uh, thank you all for watching and uh, continue for whatever we have coming next. Someone say in the in the chat what is coming because I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but thank you guys so much. I'm going to quit the game and uh, actually no, before I do that, I'm going to turn on video on my end uh, and see how far behind it is. Hopefully it's caught up and I'm just blabbering and uh, we'll switch you over to the next people soon. Thank you guys so much for watching.